All right, guys, let's take a look today at converting these old spiral trees over to addressable LEDs to use with our Christmas light show. So this is what they look like today, and we're going to move them over, and they're going to look like this. So let's take a look at the clips I used to hold the pixels on. These are 3D printed. I found them last year. I'm not sure where they came from, so if anyone is aware and can link that, please let me know in the comments. But they're pretty easy. They go right onto the spiral tree. As you can see, I like to use the spacing that's already existing in the spiral. And then we can go ahead and take our pixels and snap them in. So a lot of people, when they're replacing their spiral trees, they take the star that's currently comes with it, they pop it open and replace it, put five pixels in there. But I'm not really a fan of how that looks. So I designed a 3D printed star that has 50 pixels, two rings, 30 on the outside, 20 on the inside, and it's got a built-in mounting so it slides over the pole and has room for a set screw to pull it in. And of course, when you're done pushing pixels, this is what you get out of the look. When we put everything together, here's what we end up with. Right now, these are just running on WLED with the rainbow effect. So next, let's take a look at modeling in X lights and getting these set up with a small sequence. In X lights, we're going to use the native models for the spiral trees. So we'll bring in the tree. Looking down from the top, the spirals on my trees go in a clockwise direction. So we have actual negative wraps for the small tree. I have five wraps. Um, there's one string for each tree, and the small tree for me has 55 pixels. I bring the large tree. Do a similar. Um, in this case, I have eight wraps, one string of 115 pixels. And then for the star, we'll use the native star. It's one string. Um, but you need to change. It's got two layers. And then under the individual layers, the inside is 20. And the outside is 30. So we can put that there. We'll copy and paste to create the second star because they're the same model. And there we have our trees modeled in X-Lights. So last, let's take a look at how some effects look on them from X-Lights.